out. So, uh, my accountant just called me this morning and he sent me over the report for 2016. Now, that's not a mistake, not the year that just finished 2017. He just finished the report for 2016. And as it turns out, uh, in 2016, I made more money than he assumed that I would make. And so, I didn't pay enough tax during 2016. And that means I actually own owe the tax authorities around $25,000, which I would have to pay now. Now, if you've been following my income report that I publish here on the vlog, you know that in 2017, I made more money than in 2016. And that means that for sure I owe the same amount and probably even more for 2017. That means I'll have to pay out $50,000 for tax tour fees um, that I did not pay, not plan to pay. And I don't have that money kind of set aside for this. Um, so needless to say, this morning started out panicking, which totally sucked. And uh, I do have an emergency fund, which is, as its name suggested, um, is fund for emergency cases and I would say that this is kind of an emergency fund because I didn't plan to take this money out. The, the idea behind this fund is that if something happens or if I don't get any new projects and stuff like that then I don't have to get into debt, I don't have to take loans and stuff like that. I currently don't have any loans. And so the thing is that this amount of money will actually completely wipe out my um, my emergency fund just when I'm, you know, have to send my second son into a private kindergarten. So this is going to be probably the toughest period in my life economically. And so this is pretty stressful. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this. So during the morning I panicked, but then I just, you know, I meditated, I took a walk and thought about how to handle this. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a financial advisor and think about how to best deal with it because I can, as I told you, pay all the money right now but then I won't have any kind of buffer in my emergency fund for the upcoming few months if I don't get new projects or something like that and that's pretty scary. I can also pay uh, my debt to the tax authorities in kind of like uh, in payments which would kind of make this, um, make this a bit easier. But the thing is I also have to, to make sure that it doesn't happen again next year. I have to update kind of my taxes and pay more taxes every month. So this is going to be really kind of tight, tighten my, my, you know, my expenses. And so it's tough. My wife tells me I have to fi fire my accountant because he messed up and he didn't see this coming, which might be true. And I'll have to consider this as well. But um, first step is just relax and think rationally and come up with a plan how to deal with this. and hopefully try to use this opportunity to grow and learn how to better handle my finances and um, and how to make more money so I can survive this. Anyway, I haven't been really able to work and get stuff done this morning because I was only thinking about this. I'm now trying to force myself back into work, which is hard. Um, I hope you guys have a better day today and hope I'll be back on track tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,